Hey everyone, Melissa and Kristen here with CIR Realty. On today's episode of Heart and Hustle, we're chatting with Erin from Born Colorado Brewing. Erin, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Thanks for joining us. So tell us a little bit about your business. Absolutely. Uh, we are a tap room and a production facility. So we do have a space where you can come and enjoy pints uh, in our bay here. And then we also produce and package beer to sell at local retailers. So liquor stores, restaurants, uh, bars, that kind of thing. Awesome. And we were chatting with you a little bit before we started here, but you are open for business and people can go and enjoy the tap room now? Yes. Yeah. We opened in mid-June uh, after being closed for about uh, three months there. Uh, we opened under the new guidelines, so we are operating at a reduced capacity. We can host approximately 45 people uh, and maintain social distancing. Um, and then, yeah, we're open Tuesdays through Sunday. Awesome. And do you need to have a reservation to get in? Uh, no, we don't have to have a reservation by any means. We do recommend it on a Friday or a Saturday. If you want to be able to walk up and know that you have a table waiting for you, you can call ahead. Otherwise, you can walk in and we'll have you seated within 20, 25 minutes at the most if we're busy. Perfect. And we were talking a little bit too. We got a little tour of the tap room. Do you mind showing us around? Yeah, absolutely. We'll go on a little walk-in tour here. Awesome. So I was just sitting at our bar, but if you were to come in our front door here, you would see into the tap room. We've got our handy dandy hand sanitizer. And then tables that are not set up today because we're not open for consumption today. And then we've got another table here by the door. And I'll pop you outside and give you a little view of our patio. We just built our deck this past summer. Awesome. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so we'll put some umbrellas out there and some little tables and you can enjoy a pint in the sun. Last year it was just a parking lot, so we've uh, upgraded when we had some time off this past few months. And then, <laughs> Way to maximize that time. <laughs> yeah, we've also got some upstairs seating uh, called our mezzanine. So just some more tables, chairs, and it's kind of a nice little area. If you're having a smaller kind of private event, we can book that space for you and your group and you kind of get the space to yourself. Perfect. And you were saying that you do host private events as well, like birthday parties and staff parties and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We've hosted lots of birthdays, uh, retirement parties, bachelorettes, bachelor parties. We've had a couple weddings. We had a few slotted for this summer. Uh, and unfortunately, they got moved to next summer. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, we've done uh, staff parties, Christmas parties, stampede parties. Not so much this year, but hopefully next year. Next year. <laughs> awesome. And tell us a little bit about... Um, what makes you guys different as a brewery and what do your clients love about your products? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think the thing that stands out for us the most is our name. Um, we, we chose our name based on the fact that Wade, my partner, is from Colorado originally. So it is a little bit of a tribute to his background, but it's also about where he uh, learned about craft beer, what kind of drives him, where his passion stems from. Um, so I think that really kind of puts us on our own, sometimes for good and sometimes for not so good reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't always know that we're local, uh, but we are, and we only have a tap room in Calgary. We don't have a second location in Colorado. We never had a brewery there. Uh, I'm from here and Wade's been here for about 10 years now. Um, and then I think another thing that kind of separates us is we've always got at least 10 beers on tap. We try and keep it really, uh, really fresh and we try to have something new and exciting. So even if you visit us every week, uh, we should have something new that you haven't tried yet. Awesome. And so what's your best seller? Uh, our best seller in the summer is called High Cutie. It's a wheat ale that's brewed with raspberry and fresh mint. It's awesome. Raspberry. And then our best seller this past week or so, we did a watermelon goza. So it's a sour style beer with sea salt and then watermelon. In it. And that sold in 24 hours. So that was one of our... Well, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. That's awesome. So before we wrap up, is there anything else that you want our viewers to know about your biz? Oh, goodness. We want you to know that we're local. We want you to know that we are uh, down in the heart of the Manchester industrial area. So it's an area, even if you're from Calgary, that you may not have spent a lot of time in. 
uh, but it's definitely booming and it's really thriving right now. We've got ourselves and then another 10 to 15 beverage producers. So we've got distilleries down here, cideries. We have a uh, urban winery. Um, most of us will try and have food trucks or some kind of partnership with uh, food suppliers so you can come and eat. Uh, pretty much all of us, you can order your own meal. You can bring a sandwich from home if you want to pack a picnic. Everybody is uh, kid-friendly. Most of us have pooch-friendly patios and pet-friendly patios. It's just a fun way to spend the day in a part of Calgary that maybe you haven't been too familiarized with yet. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Erin. If you want to learn more about Born Colorado Brewing, you can go to our website, www.parkbench.com forward slash varsity. Thanks, everyone. Thank you guys. Thank you.